Hi, Dr. DePasquale from NSI. And when it comes to kidney disease, uh, it's important to consider a few things. You know, um, the traditional medical model at this stage of the game really doesn't have an answer for kidney disease. You know, they monitor it and they allow the progression to take place. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the diets that they recommend are counterproductive, uh, but I understand why they do them. Um, one of the things that we always consider when it comes to kidney disease is the cause. I think that's part of the process, and, and most of the kidney patients that we do see happen to be diabetics, so we always affect the diabetes on a grand scale in conjunction with affecting kidney disease. Now, um, you know, what role does stem cell play in, in overcoming kidney disease? Well, stem cells have been shown to, to repair and regenerate many tissues in the body, but they also have been shown to stimulate our body to produce what we call a paracrine effect or an immunomodulatory effect, which is really just a fancy word for saying it gets your body to pay attention to damaged tissues. So when we inject stem cells for kidney disease, we inject intravenously. So after the harvest, we harvest stem cells from peripheral tissue. We isolate them in abundance, and then we inject them into the intravenous uh, blood circulation. And as a result, they, they have been shown in the literature to home to areas of damage, and that's exactly what they'll do. Now, for those types of patients who have kidney disease, you know, well, we're very straightforward with them. We always tell them, look, there's, there's many damaged uh, tissues and, and systems in, in the body of, of a kidney disease patient for the most part because they're chronically ill. So those stem cells are gonna go and repair many tissues in the body. When it comes to um, kidneys, you know, obviously the goal is to repair and regenerate and improve kidney function, but it would make complete sense not to neglect other damaged tissues in the body because it, it plays into the overall condition itself. When we um, undergo a kidney uh, you know, protocol, we always are very straightforward with the patient and we always make recommendations based on what we've seen clinically and what we've seen in the past patients that we've treated. And we've treated quite a few kidney patients at this stage of the game. And what we see is that it does require more than one dose. So be prepared to fight the battle. Obviously, when we have lots of damage, there's more work to be done. So, you know, um, think about it this way. It, you know, if I cut my hand and it's a minor scratch, how fast does that heal? Well, it heals really fast. It heals in a specific time frame, and it heals really fast. But if that cut is really deep, it takes a little bit longer to heal. It requires a little bit more energy and a little bit more work. And the same is true for any other tissue in the body. Um, when we apply stem cells, we apply them in abundance and we apply them in a nature so that we can get them to the damaged tissue affected. And then what we do is we monitor closely. In conjunction with something like, uh, like kidney disease, there's always going to be lifestyle recommendations, things that can be done at home to create an environment that's conducive to healing, but also to limit toxicity and to limit the stressors that may be creating the problems. Um, that's something that we'll always take a look at here in this organization, just because, you know, uh, when it comes to stem cell therapy, again, not a magic wand, but a really important part of the process and a really powerful tool to help us to repair tissue. It is the only tool that we have found in the medical literature that can repair and regenerate damaged kidney tissue, which is a really, really beneficial thing and it's really exciting because uh, we've been able to get patients from dialysis to off dialysis with, uh, with stem cell therapy, um, you know, with multiple treatments and uh, it's been really exciting and it's, it's really fun.